Hello, hello, hello. This is Fancy at the Playola channel. I'm here to bring you some more golf. So in my uh, break between these videos, I've been grinding really hard with the uh, character Kid here, who is Tiger Woods as a child prodigy. Uh, I've gone over that a little bit in some of my previous videos. Um, so anyway, I've got him up to 271 yards. He's supposed to be 270 according to Advanced uh, Mario Golf Advanced Tour, which is for Game Boy Advance. Go figure. Uh, I was, I think, before I mistakenly said Toastal Tour. Uh, some of the characters from Advance, you can actually two of the customizable characters, just like Game Boy uh, Colors game that these characters come from, you can switch over to Toastal Tour, and it's only two of them. It's Ellie and Neil, I think. I haven't not played that game to tell you the truth yet. But uh, it's got a perfect score, I think, on IGN and a couple other sites. It's got a really high score, so that's really cool. So I'll check it out eventually, but right now we're in 64. Anyway, I'm mentioning how you can bring characters over, and you can bring these four over in this game. Well, they have those characters in Advanced Tour, and they're like, uh, they're like mile, 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 mile marks, like uh, they're uh, goals, challenges. Like you would beat Cherry, you'd beat Azalea, Joe, and uh, Kid, just like you would beat... Luigi, uh, Peach, Sunny, Harry, uh, or Mario in challenge mode. That they're the same thing in that game. That's what I'm trying to get at. So anyway, uh, I'm here to play a little bit of Kid in the Game Boy Color version of the game, which I transferred these characters from, including Kid, Joe, Azalea, and Sherry. The goal is to beat Mario, to become just as good as Mario in the RPG element golfing game, which is kind of a weird thing to say as a game, but it's a, it's a really, really great game. Uh, I've played all the way through it as well as this one. So uh, anyway, Tiger uh, is the most notable character. So I'm going to say that it's probably based around him mostly. And that these other three are mostly like if you just wanted to ch change it up, have some fun. I'm going to say these characters don't matter as much. So today I'm going to try to make something out of that whole, you know, that whole uh, idea. Like that you're supposed to be Mario and become the best. Well, I'm going to be try to beat him today with Kid in this game. And make that uh, prophecy kind of come true here. You know, Tiger Woods becoming the fabled Tiger Woods. He's a child now, and I, I guess in the game they're saying that oh, a kid was Tiger Woods is a kid, and Mario was a really good golfer, and he wanted to be just as good as him and beat him. And one day he becomes better than him. He's uh in his stats, he's which is an interesting to talk about as well. Is he's a slight draw while Mario's a uh, very, very much a draw. He's like three points into the draw, so his shot is very much to the right. While kids is slightly to the right, it's only one point. So Mario's uh, a worse character, to tell you the truth. He's a little bit off. His ability to be accurate is more difficult. It's a great shot. He, uh, I'm just, did I do match mode with him? I'm not sure. Well, anyway, uh, his ability to be as accurate is off. I think he hit shoots a little lower than Kid, to tell you the truth. But overall, Kid's a better character is the deal. Nice on. And he's Tiger, so why wouldn't he be, right? Okay, got a little bit of a putt here. That should be it. We'll see what happens. And it curves slightly. So if he makes this putt, I'm going to be down a stroke. And he's got an easy one, so I'm going to say he probably makes it. And he's, he's up now. I actually struggle with the first hole on this... Uh, this course being it's only first course in the first hole I struggle a little bit with kid because he shoots so high see it just like Mario so wind really affects you a lot and sometimes I misgauge or misjudge things a little bit and I end up uh, a little bit shy where I want to be and then also that Charlie logic comes in a lot of times where I'm like oh I play Charlie let me use Charlie's logic for how to play him in this game that's obviously using a different character right now so the wind really affects me, so I'm going to shoot really t far right. It's 20 miles an hour, 21 being the most you can have. And uh, that's a great shot. I'm right next to the pin. Nice. Mario having a little more trouble than me, I think, is uh, 30 or 40 yards away. But his putt is really easy. Oh, man. I really hope he doesn't make this. Uh, that's kind of bullshit. If that was me, I'd have probably had a much tougher putt, to tell you the truth. But uh, it's fine. We'll just finish up the hole and move on to the next one. Alright, so you'll notice as well if you, uh, and I think I, I had talked about this previously a little bit, 
If you tie with a character two times in a hole, one of those little imprints of the mushroom medals where they would go if you win a hole goes away. So you could technically he could tie me every single time until it just becomes he won one hole and that was enough to beat me. You'll notice by the slipstream, the little dotted uh, line that shows the path of your ball when you, you know, strike the ball, when you drive the ball, that Kids is slightly uh, to the right while Mario's is extremely to the right. And that's the difference between the two characters. So the rain is coming down on me. Mostly it doesn't affect him it feels like because he shoots so high. But I'm going to shoot a little lower and a little over and then adjust. And I think that should give me what I'm looking for, which it does. And I'm just as close as I was last time to the pen here. Now Mario needs to respond with something fairly decent, otherwise I'm going to win this hole. Unless he gets another easy putt, with, which is also unlikely. Nice and he responds pretty fairly. His putt's not hard, he just needs to overshoot a little bit because of the rain. And it should go in, and it does. So we have another birdie. <coughs> Another birdie hole for both of us. I'm gonna just respond with my little little putt. All right, and now it's nine eight, and uh, he's first. And this is a hole I use. I, I I do pretty well on. I would say I do pretty well. Uh, I think the last couple times I've played Mario on here, he usually screws up the second stroke trying to get to the eagle because it's a par 5, and if you know anything about golf, I should have got that, if you know anything about golf, when you shoot into the hole on a par 5, you make 3 strokes into the, and you make it in the hole, it's an eagle. If you make 2 on a 4, I believe it's an albatross. No, maybe it's, I think it's on 5, you see, I don't know that much about golf like I've talked about before, I know a lot about the, this game that's based around golf, but when it comes to some other stuff, I'm a little hazy on the details. That's actually a really good shot, and he usually doesn't get one of those on this hole. Anyway, so now I have to, the pressure's on me, and I have to make a great shot now. Okay, we're going to do this, shoot a little high, and we're going to adjust, and that should be it. But anyway, uh, albatross, all the, all the things are named after birds, and albatross is a... Uh, that was a great shot as well. His is a little better than mine, I think, though. An albatross is two shots in. So if I'd have just made it in, it would have been an albatross. It looks like it's curving to the right. If you can see, the lines are a little uneven on the grid here. I'm going to only slightly do that. And I'm going to shoot there. That should be it. Yep. So I make an eagle, and you get to see Kid, which is Tiger Woods, break his arm right there. Uh, I don't know why they have it be that cartoony. His putt's a little different than mine. It's a slight slope to the right. I'm not sure if he's going to get it. He might have screwed it up. Yes, he screws it up. So he sets him up himself up perfectly, but then he screws up the easy putt, giving us a, a win here for Tiger. And uh, Tiger Woods is also, I've mentioned this before, the only, uh, one of the only characters, there's two of them, that shoots a special ability besides a streak of white. All the other characters in the game that aren't from the Game Boy that you, know, you don't download that already come on the game that you can unlock. That looks like a bad shot. Um, they all shoot a white streak. And he barely makes that work. And Tiger and I believe Azalea shoot something different. Azalea shoots a rainbow, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't checked in a while. She's not my favorite character, so I don't play her that often. It's a good shot. It's not super close, but it's not super far away. And it looks like fairly uh, even ground. Let's do this. Anyway, she shoots a rainbow and Tiger shoots lightning. Here, uh, shooting lightning is also really cool to me because I think lightning is the coolest effect in the game by far. It's a decent putt. I'm not sure if you'll get it here though. No, he overshoots. So there's another chance for me to pull ahead. And Tiger shoots lightning, and uh, Wario's the original character that shoots lightning. That should be in. Yep, so I get the birdie and I pull ahead now. One step closer to achieving Tiger Woods' uh, <laughs> prophecy in his video game. Okay, so this is a pretty tough hole right here. I've got 20 miles an hour wind coming at me. It's going to pull me a hell of a lot. So I need to get that. Yep, that's perfect. And I'm... 
from what I've just uh, calculated, it should pull me right and I should kind of fall near the hole. So I'm pretty close. It's not super, super close, but it's it's pretty close. I can work with it for a putt. It's within a short range putt. And uh, pretty much all the easy putts are in short range. Mario doing a little bit different here. He looks like he's actually going to get pulled too far right because he, didn't, he did not uh, ac account for a lot of the things I did. It looked like he kind of just winged it. If he misses this here, he might make it. As sometimes the computers do these amazing approaches. Speak of the devil, he almost made it. Uh, I'll have a shot. What I was saying is I'm going to have a shot at uh, another another hole being mine. So that's, uh, that should be it. Hope for the best. And uh, it doesn't curve quite as much as I was uh, anticipating there. I think it should have. But uh, I mean, anyone who makes uh, any attempt in any video game thinks they should de should deserve something to go right. right. Mario just taps her in. We have another tie. I could have pulled ahead if I was a little, took a little more time to adjust myself. Well, I could have pulled ahead further. I forgot I was actually up that that much. This is one of the holes since he's uh, such a a long, long ball of a, dr a driver. He shoots the ball you know, fairly long. 270 is a lot. The highest I believe is 290. Is it 290? I'm trying to remember what Metal Mario shoots. I think he's 290 or 285. So he's not much. Behind Metal Mario and the character here, he took me a long time to develop. He's I started him off at level 30 last time I had him, and I think he drove 250 then. Now he's at 270, and it took me literally four, uh, 40 levels about. Okay, this is actually a really tough shot. The wind is gonna fuck things up a little bit. Okay. What I was getting getting at is that uh, he drives pretty far, and the wind affects him a lot because of him shooting so high. Speak of the devil, I got pushed really far ahead, even though I pulled myself down a lot. And that putt is manageable. It's a tough putt, but it's manageable. And if there's really no slope, I should be able to do it. So I always uh, pull back a little bit away from obstacles and then shoot f oh, over them and further ahead if I can. His putt's about the same as mine. I think he's a little bit further. Ah, his putt's not hard, though. I don't know if he's going to get it. Let's see. Nope. He kind of overshoots. See, Mario, unlike Metal Mario, makes mistakes. Metal Mario does not make mistakes, really. He's, uh, uh, I knew I should have pulled back a little more. Well, that's my fault. So, I get a par. He's going to tie with me for another par, and that's going to be that. And here goes his putt, and another par. So, we're, we're having a fairly good game. There's a couple of spots where I really should be taking advantage of his mistakes, and I'm not. That's mostly because I don't really main kid. I've been grinding him hard lately, and I've gotten fairly, fairly good at him. But it's not, it's not as good as Charlie. Still, I could, I would say I could beat uh, my version of kid playing kid. My version of me playing kid with my version of me playing Charlie. I think I could win with Charlie. Charlie's just so, so much more accurate, and he's affected completely, completely not affected by wind. So I can do whatever I want really with him on short holes, and I can even. You can even make hole in one sometimes, even though it's rare. It'll happen much more frequently than some uh, long driving character like this. The advantage with the long driving character, as I've mentioned before, is uh, in other videos, is that you can make it to the hole in two strokes and then make an eagle pretty well if you know what you're doing. So right now I've I've got a shot at an eagle. I'm gonna try and shoot the ball. I'm not sure if I should shoot too too far because 70 miles an hour is a lot, and I also shoot fairly high. I'm gonna try. And see what happens here. And it's slightly to the right, so I'm feeling like since I also have a draw, it's going to pull me. I'm going to try to land more on the right, but no. I mean, they're clapping for me. But I don't know why. I didn't make it on the green. Mario's chance here to uh, take take back the lead and uh, tie us up again. See what he does. I don't know how he accounted for everything, but wow, that's a really good shot, surprisingly. I don't know how he did that. That looks really off to me. Okay, let's try my weakest thing. Approaching. With Kid, I've been over-approaching. That's actually a better version of what I've been doing recently. Oh, God, he's so close. No way he's going to miss this. Okay, so we're tied up again. The birdie. Did he screw up somewhere earlier? He must have screwed up somewhere earlier while I was talking, and I didn't notice. Wow. All right. Well, anyway. Birdie on birdie. 
Uh, that's weird. I must have blanked that out for some reason. I don't know. I'm tired, I guess. So anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know how he made that shot. That was kind of weird for me. I actually recorded this before, but uh, I did kind of bad. Right now I'm doing really, well, pretty good. Not really good. But uh, my laptop lost its power, and I was recording onto it now, and uh, I have to redo it, so. But, uh, so officially I finished all the characters that were downloadable from the Game Boy versions, and it cost me about $100 worth of equipment getting the games. You needed two separate games to get all four characters, because only three would transfer on each game. And then I needed a game. I was trying to have two Game Boy pack transfers so I didn't have to move them around too much. I know the batteries are kind of temperamental sometimes. That's a really good shot. And sometimes nice your data gets erased. So I just spent like a week and a half grinding for Kid to be done. And it would be really devastating if I lost all my memory, you know. That's a pretty good shot. Well within putting range. Uh, 18 is not bad at all. I just need to not screw up here. Alright, that's good. So birdie. And he's got a really easy putt, so I don't think he's going to miss it. It's, it's going to be another tie. He always does these like creeping balls. Like he'll tap it in and it'll just creep its way over to the hole. And you kind of like thinking, oh, is it gonna make it? So we got five more holes for me to win. This is an interesting setup here. There's this hill that you can shoot over with lo long range characters. Let's do that. All right, here comes some lightning for you. It's a cool effect. I don't know how it's going to land now. I was trying to accommodate for everything, but uh, I end up like all the way somehow on the right hand side, even though I pushed myself left. He's thinking. This computer sometimes will stop and think. It's really funny. They'll like take a moment and they won't do anything. It'll be like D -d 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 -d. this, 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 and this. If I do that, I might end up on the green. So he's actually got a decent spot. It's not super good, but it's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to do that. And let's see what happens. If I'm fairly close. I can finish up my 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 putt for a birdie, and it's not so so bad. So yeah, that's not a bad putt at all. I'd be surprised if he misses this here. Yep, and he gets an eagle, and that ties everything up. A little frustrating, but that's my own fault for screwing up. I guess what I was trying to do. So now he gets to go first. This is another one that I kind of shoot back on because there's this odd hill in the way. And I don't feel like fighting it and trying to get around it sometimes. So I'll usually pull myself back. And then position myself if I can in a more uh, advantageous area. Pointing myself towards the hole on hopefully flat ground if I can get it. Uh, this is a fairly flat ground. So I'm going to pull there. And... Let's see what happens. Nine miles an hour. I kind of adjusted that for Charlie logic again, which is a little aggravating. So there's a chance I'll end up somewhere I wasn't meaning to. Yeah, I'm more on the right hand side, left hand side than I really meant to be. He kind of does the same shot. I'll see where he ends up though. Looks similar to mine. Ooh, he ends up way, way in the bunker. I can actually putt from where I am and try to make it. The rain is going to make it very difficult to get in though. This, this chip looks very awful too. He's still very far away. 25, so I'm thinking that I don't even need to make this putt. I just have to get closer. So I'm going to just try to get closer. Nice yep, and I'm, I'm well within finishing up now. And I don't think he's going to make this. I think he's going to miss it. Yep, and that's right. And now I can sink this and take it, take my uh, my point. There we go, and I'm back on top. That's kind of a hard hole. The area for the green is very small. Where I can land and what I can do. There's another par 5. I really needed that. Another par 5. And uh, usually, this is actually I think my, my easiest one. I would say this is my easiest par 5 usually. And I hit that hill just right pushing me forward, which is a good drive. It's a really good drive. 
Zelda. And let's see what he does. He's actually shooting a little shorter and kind of trying to use the wind. I think he goes right over this bunker. Yeah. And he's going to get... Uh, no, he didn't get semi-rough. I thought he might. He's still pretty far away. His spot for shooting isn't that bad, considering the trees in front of him. He's kind of far enough back where the trees aren't bothering him. Ooh, uh, that would have been awesome if he got a flag shot. But he's really far away, so this is another hole I can take advantage of here. Um, I'm going to just try to use that wind to my advantage. And I think that's going to be it. I'm trying not to get the bunker that's in front of me, but I'm trying not to overshoot like he did. So, I'm pretty close. Let's see, within putting range. It's not too, too bad. His eagle putt's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, that's, oh god, thank you, that didn't go in. Okay, so, that should go in. Yep. So, a good putt on my end there with the mid. He breaks his arm again for another celebration. And now I'm two up. Alright, we're going to try this. Alright, that looks good. I keep trying to do what I do with Charlie, but put myself a little further away with the wind since he's he's so affected by it. See, I, that was a beautiful shot, and I ended up really close to the pen, only 9.16 feet away. And I, I was like all the way the hell out there on the right hand, left hand side. He's like, I don't know what he's doing. He pulled down, he shot under the ball, and then he used a power. Uh, I. I mean, he still ended up in a fairly decent position. I think the power kind of gave him a little more control. Maybe Mario has more control than Tiger's character. Wow, he actually made that too. I thought he shot a little bit less than he needed. But I always overshoot my putts to ensure that uh, the slope doesn't affect me too greatly. Wow. As I'm saying that, I don't overshoot. I undershoot. The irony there. <sighs> that was my fault completely my fault i'm still up one so it's not a huge deal but that was completely my fault i was talking and not paying attention to my my uh my hands what my hands were doing this is yet again another hole that i avoid the obstacles as much as i can so i could shoot all the way over here and try to make it on this but that's a little you know aggravating so i'm gonna shoot over here and let the wind kind of do what it does I should end up right in front of that rough. If I end up on the rough, I can still adjust accordingly. But I'm afraid of that pond. And afraid of going into it and the repercussions that come with it. So here goes Mario. Let's see what he does. He keeps cutting under the ball. And uh, I don't understand why. Does it? Maybe since he's such a high shooting character, he shoots up. Oh, he is shooting up. And then he's letting the ball come back on him. I see now. I see. And what I do, really, is I shoot normal, but I shoot a little less. And then the wind still affects me, but I'm not being literally pulled back, I feel. We're two different styles. He still shot it closer than me, though, with what he did over what I did. Hopefully, I don't miss this. Should be it. Yep, and there we go. Decent putt, mid-range, decent putt. I'm doing, doing a little bit better with those recently. His putt's really easy. So I'd be surprised if he misses it. Wow, and he misses it just as badly as I did my last one. I should be up three. But uh, I just, I, I'm just i just being bad right now. This is another one I, I put back on. Because I can put all the way over here. I mean, drive all the way over here. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to just try to give myself a decent uh, flat surface to shoot my second stroke off of. My second shot off of and try to get good uh, angle at the pin, the hole. Let's see what he does. His, his shot is a little goofy. He keeps kind of testing the waters with getting really close to his walls. So I'm going to just take this. There's no wind. And I'm going to hope that I make it over and then it bounces a little bit. We'll see what happens though. And I make it over and it bounces a little bit. Exactly what I wanted. I think I'm within 15 nice feet. On. I'm within 15 feet, 10.62. And let's see what he does. His, his shot, he kind of put himself on the left-hand side a little bit so that he wouldn't have to deal with those obstacles that I had, which was the rough in front of me. So that he can just... Wow, he almost made that, too. 
a little, a little nice more, on. a little closer, and he would have made that. So there we go, a little shot, a little, a little slope to the left. Adjust myself, and there we are. Okay, I think I'm gonna be one more to win after this, after the tie. And then it's gonna be I need to win though. Yep, I need to win though. If I tie with him twice though, I'll win by default. Oh, okay, that's a really tough hole. I have to get over this hill and into this this valley. And there's 18 miles an hour coming towards me on my left hand side. So I have to adjust. And that's a decent shot. Let's hope the wind takes it as much as I want it to. And there's a small area that you want to hit that you can roll down. Now I didn't hit it. It's on the left. It's a, it's a little higher up. And you can see it, the corner of it at the top right hand uh, part of the screen. He's trying something a little differently than me. And his shot looks a little better, but I think he's going to end up in that rough. He might get semi though. Semi is not so, so bad. He's also got uh, some height on the ball so he's gonna be able to hit to the hole a little easier than me while I'm on the slope going down to the valley so wow that's a really great shot so I need to I need to make something right now usually what I'll do is I'll shoot a lot over this because shooting up is a little aggravating alright and I'm in a rough as well as you which you have to think about so as long as I don't hit this tree I should be fine I might not make it but that's not too bad. If I had just rolled a little bit more forward, I'd have been able to get close to the pin. I'm not that far away. I'm about... Uh, that's 30 feet, so I'm about 40. Half of this is 50. And I'm also putting up this hill. And I'm trying to make it gradual so I don't get kind of a hop skip. And nope. Nice I got the hop, which screwed up my angle. And then I also got the... What is he doing? They gonna make it? Uh, he does make it with an eagle. So now he's he's on my tail, but it's not too too much to worry about. All I have to do is tie with him twice, and the game's mine. And even with me screwing up here or there, I'm still ahead. So I'm playing below average, and I'm still beating Mario with this character. As long as he doesn't do something really good here, I should be able to. Uh, that's actually a really good shot. I don't think he's close enough to make the putt, though. I don't think he's gonna make that putt. I'm gonna just kind of wing this and hope it works. Let's see what happens. That's a good shot. Uh, I ended up in rough, but I'm really close. Let's see here. Nice Whoo! That should have went in. That was a great putt on my end. He's gonna try to adjust. Nope, and he misses. So this is going to be a tie. We both do really good putts. Uh, mine a little more impressive, just saying. And uh, his being what it is. I feel like mine should have went in. That was, that was good, uh, good on my part. So now I just need a tie. It says you win and a draw. And he still needs to win two. And we're on the eight, whole 18, so we did a full round. And I think I'm going to tie with him. I don't, I don't think I'm going to screw up too bad. This is actually the, the hardest hole. This is the hardest hole in, on uh, the first course. He shoots to the bottom. While I was grinding, I figured out that there's this top part here that's pretty good to aim for. I hope I land up there. You get a decent positioning. You have, you're, you're high up. and As long as it's not a lot of wind, it's a good place to be, I feel. Yep, so that's good. Now I'm on even sloping, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna try to adjust. I can see that I'm a little off actually while I'm shooting, so I pulled myself a little left because I was already in the middle of shot. So I pulled myself and I'm I'm on green edge, it's not too too bad. He could potentially get on top of me and make this comeback right now. Because I'm kinda being willy nilly with my shots right now. Wow, he actually made that. Oh my gosh, you have to be choking me. This game is being a, an asshole. What? Come on. 
Oh, this is aggravating. Now we're in sudden death. This is kind of cool. I mean, I don't want to be here, but it's kind of cool. Everything changes to like this moonlight darkness, and then it shows everything off with this epic music. Well, it's the same music, I believe, but it's just everything's dark now. So now we're going to tie back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until somebody screws up. And whoever makes the next point wins. I'm a little uh, salty over that. I feel like I shouldn't have to do this. That uh, I've been playing fairly better than Mario most of the time besides that last shot. And it's kind of aggravating now that I have to put a little extra effort in and play a little longer. And my, my video is already 30 minutes long and I don't, I don't want to... I, mean, I enjoy doing my videos but I don't want to be doing this any longer than I have to makes another one I'm gonna fucking die so he makes a really good shot now I have to make mine the bunker is yellow wow I never noticed that before I haven't done this in a while the bunker is yellow come on uh that that choke though okay how close am I is the real question 43 oh my god I might have just lost Please go in. Please go in. Please go in. Nice he has to be joking me. <sighs> well, that's it. I'm really pissed off now. That was really bullshit. Well, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna go get really angry right now over this stupid fucking game. And, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching the Playola channel. I'm Fancy. I'll, uh, be back to y'all real soon.